Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen, to Myobiotechnologies, a channel, a targeting therapy, immune oncology company focused on the development of first in class drugs with novel mechanisms of action that are intended to meaningfully improve and extend the lives of people with cancer. Uh, joining us to discuss, to give us a high level overview today of the company, uh, Vlad, the chief executive officer and founder. First and foremost, welcome back, sir. Thank you for having me. And a pleasure to get you on. So I want to dive right into this just to kind of get newer investors and newer audiences kind of a good understanding of what's going on under the hood there. Uh, in your pipeline, you have uh, Thio targeting three types of studies moving into phase two and a second generation called Maya, which is developed in-house with two indications. For newer investors, do you want to kind of break down this pipeline for us and just kind of explain to us what's going on here? Yes. So at Maya Biotechnology, we are the makers of the first telomere targeting agents in the world. Thio is the lead agent currently in the clinic in a phase two go-to-market trial. The efficacy of Tayo is extraordinary. We have seen curative results in multiple tumor types when Tayo is used in combination with checkpoint inhibitors. These results were achieved at doses 40 times under the maximum tolerated dose. Such an efficacy and safety profile is unprecedented. The FDA have endorsed the data and awarded Tayo two orphan drug designations out of the first two applications, one in liver cancer, the other one in small cell lung cancer. Regeneron as well, via the clinical supply agreement under which they provided checkpoint inhibitor Liptio for the Tayo 101 phase two go-to-market trial in non-small cell lung cancer. This is our first trial, Tayo 101. It's, uh, it's currently enrolling in Australia and Europe and on track to come to the U.S. soon. We just released the safety data, very favorable profile indeed, uh, and also the preliminary efficacy data showing that Tayo has extended survival in the first patients treated. Our second trial, Tayo 102, is our second phase two go-to-market trial to start later this year. This is in starting in colorectal. HCC, hepatocellular carcinoma, and uh, solid tumors of all types as a signal generation arm. And TIO 103 is our third trial. This is a phase two slash three that serves as a confirmatory trial for the accelerated approvals from TIO 101 and TIO 102. It is in first line of therapy where uh, most patients are. And starting with non-small cell lung cancer and small cell lung cancer, it will expand later to multiple tumor types as well. So about the pipeline, it's, uh, we have, this is a program that on which we have started about a year ago. We have engineered 84 new molecules, all work to the same mechanism of action as Tio. Structurally, some are an evolution of Tio, others are new structures. We have tested them in vitro and in vivo. Seven of them have demonstrated efficacy an order of magnitude greater than the original in certain tumor types. And the objective here is to advance one new molecule to the clinic every 12 months or so. The first two that were announced a couple of months ago are called Maya 2021-20 and Maya 2022-12. Uh, and they are... Uh, have started a preclinical development and we expect them to go to the clinic before the end of next year. Now, I definitely appreciate these insights and I wouldn't mind rolling back just a little bit. Uh, what history for you led up to getting involved with uh, Maya Biotechnologies and just kind of uh, indulge us a little bit on that aha moment for you kind of getting down this path? So for me, it was always a mission uh, in life to, uh, to help find better treatments for cancer and hopefully one day cure. The, so I founded Maya in 2018 with the licensing of Tayo from University of Texas as a telomere targeting agent. This was a, a new thing for me at the time. It was the first time that I learned about telomeres and telomerase and the biology, uh, especially as it applies to cancer treatments, and was thoroughly impressed with, with uh, the ability of Tayo to have very deep responses in uh, many, many different tumor types. A year after that or so, uh, we continued our collaboration and the data with Thio and checkpoint inhibitors came out. And this showed Thio also has an immunogenic effect. It teaches the immune system of the body to recognize and kill the cancer cells, even without any additional treatment, just with some initial treatment. So this data was published in 2020 for lung cancer and colorectal cancer. And then most recently, last week, 
for liver cancer, the most extraordinary data we have uh, seen so far. Uh, do you want to just also expand a little bit here on your team? Who's kind of helping you captain the ship and uh, who do you got helping you around you? So we have an, a very motivated and uh, a very experienced uh, management team. We have, uh, so I am first, uh, I'm a physician by my first training. Uh, I'm a businessman by my second training and have spent my entire career in uh, pharmaceuticals and biotechnology in oncology. And uh, along the way, I had the opportunity to work on some extraordinary drugs, uh, paradigm shifts in their own day, such as Nexavar at Bayer was the first tyrosine kinase inhibitor indicated for um, kidney cancer and HCC, liver cancer, where we are going with Tion today. And Nexavar peaked at over $1 billion a year. Then Tarsiva at Astellas for non-small cell lung cancer, where we are also going with uh, Tile. This picked at $3 billion a year. And extending for prostate cancer, more than five. But not one of these compounds had such an extraordinary uh, preclinical curative premise as Tile does. Not even through that, the market leader of all time in oncology. And also not such an extraordinary safety uh, profile with uh, this, this effects achieved the doses 40 times under the maximum tolerated dose. This is uh, an unbelievable value proposition indeed. So with me, uh, we have uh, Sergei Gryaznov. He's the chief scientific officer of Maya. He's the inventor on the tile patents and also on the new molecules, the new generation of new molecules. Sergey has been with us uh, since 2019. We have uh, Mihai Obrocha as chief medical officer. is a, a clinical oncologist by training who uh, trained at Yale and Dartmouth and uh, developed multiple oncology drugs in his career. And uh, also Mr. Joe McGuire, our chief financial officer, a very experienced CFO. Uh, he's uh, managing all of the ins and outs of uh, financing behind the scenes. I definitely appreciate these insights today. And I want to uh, pass the question off to the viewers. We'd love to know what you think about this in that comment section below. And consider subscribing because as news continues to come down the wire and as we continue to uh, un, um, you know, kind of deep dive down into uh, myobiotechnology, we're going to update you here. But uh, on that, as always, we look forward to catching you in the next one. Thank you as well. Mm -hmm.